I was about, I don't know, five or six years old when I started to play, and um, it was more of just like a thing to do for fun in my family. And then when I turned 11, I started playing more competitive, and I kind of got into it a little more. The thing that's motivating me the most is just the fact that playing tennis is more of like a mental sport than it is really anything else. And um, it continues to challenge me. It's different every day, and I just kind of enjoy the challenge. Um, I try to keep my emotions down when I'm playing because it's such a mental game. But um, the main thing that goes through my mind is just pretty much keeping my eye on the ball and thinking about nothing else but the tennis ball. <laughs> um, before a match, I either like jump rope, I drink Gatorade, and I listen to music. A couple of the techniques I do, especially when I'm practicing my serve or something, is just kind of like repeat, um, repeat the same thing over and over in my head, like ball toss, spin, location. Like if I'm working on my serve or something, just kind of like repeat those things that you need to remember even when you're in like a match or something. Playing tennis has impacted my life by teaching me lessons that you don't, you can't learn anywhere else besides, I mean, besides in athletics. I mean, in any sport really, you can learn how to deal with like the mental struggles, but um, tennis is definitely one of those sports, like I said earlier, that's just, I mean, more mental than anything really. My main issue is keeping it positive because sometimes I just get really, really negative if I'm not having a very good day on the court and um, that can really affect how you play. Um, I definitely want to place and state. I want to go all state these next two years and um, if I can, I want to get into a D1 college and have some of it paid for. That'd be really nice. <laughs>